Welcome to Old Needs, where we will discuss the most important topics in supply chain management with one of our guests. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And today we will talk about cyber risk. And we already announced him previously, and today he's here. Welcome, R2D2. Ta da! And R2D2 is a known hacker and he knows what to do once you are disrupted by a cyber attack. And therefore today we share the top five things you have to do after being affected by a cyber incident in your supply chain. So R2, what do we have to do first? That's right. Stop your online communication. Because if your supplier or your customer is affected, you could be affected as well. So you have to only talk by phone That's right, R2D2. It can either be social engineering or an IT system exploit that might have caused the cyber attack. We need to understand what it was so we can protect ourselves against it as quickly as possible. Correct. You need to understand the impact to your own production. Might it be that you have to reduce production because of a customer being not able to accept your good, or it might be because your supplier is not able to provide you with the goods. And you have to do it on a bomb basis. You have to understand the material and component being affected and then initiate mitigation measures. Yes, the big opportunity is to create awareness. So create awareness at your customers and vendors, because if one of you was hit, then it's very likely that they will try to attack others in the industry as well. They are organized, so you have to get organized. <laughs> Correct, R2D2. Everybody has to subscribe to Oath Talk Supply Chain on YouTube. And that's because we will give you more and more updates on potential risks affecting your supply chain in the future. And now, if you excuse me, I do have something very important to do. <laughs>